So now in many circuits, you're going to come across the voltage divider. We're going to look at fixed value resistor voltage dividers here, two uh, resistances between a voltage. Between those two resistances is going to be a voltage. That is a percentage of the supply voltage. Now that is in relationship to ground right there. We're going to look at the simplest one where they are equal value resistors. On the left here we have 1000 ohm resistors which we'll look at with a multimeter later on when we connect them to a 5 volt power supply where they come together since they're equal value resistors we're going to have half of 5 volts so 2.5 volts. Over here to the right we have 10,000 ohm resistors. Again they're equal value so you put 5 volts across them you're going to have 2.5 volts where they come together. So even though the resistances are different as a voltage divider since they're equal with each other within the voltage divider you're going to get half of the voltage out. Now these are signal voltages so especially this one if it has to provide any current its voltage is going to go down rapidly. Same with this one but not as rapidly because they are lower. But in case these are just signal voltages they're meant to go to the input of other circuitry that just responds to that voltage and doesn't need current. And now we're going to take measurements and I moved them so they're positioned different than they were before but uh, they're the same resistors. We're going to measure resistance. This is an auto ranging meter. Uh, if you have numbers you set it to a number higher than you can expect to measure. To measure resistance we can't have power going through the resistors that's why they're not connected to the power supply yet. The uh, red probe for this meter just stays in that spot unless we need to measure high current which we don't need to do and so it's showing mega ohms right there because there's millions of ohms between the probes here a lot more than uh, this can measure even so we can look at the total resistance these are not polarized doesn't matter which direction you have the probes but there you can see we have a total of one uh, almost 2,000 ohms of resistance right there maybe a spec shy so 2K is the same as 2,000. So 1,000 of that is the lower resistor. And then, of course, 1,000 of that is the upper resistor right there. And again, over here, the 10,000 ohm resistors, they provide a total of 2,000 ohms of resistance. But one of them is uh, 10,000 ohms, and the other one is 10,000 ohms. So before we connect this to the power supply, we should set the meter to measure voltage. And it's good to set it to measure voltage as soon as possible because that's one of the safest measurements you can take when it comes to a meter. Now we put the uh, top one to the positive supply and I'll try not to block your view. Connect the bottom one to the negative supply so they don't have to go that way. Uh, more positive is not always above uh, more negative but uh, typically that's how it goes. So. We're going to do that down here and we already set the meter to measure voltage again it's auto ranging it's especially important to have it set to a higher voltage than uh, you can expect so i have the power supply on i forgot to turn it on earlier and uh, we got a slight negative voltage but there you can see we got almost five volts so we're actually losing a little bit of voltage where uh, there's connections and stuff because that provides a little bit of resistance and so like a voltage divider it takes away just a little bit of the voltage from there. But you can see it is a pretty much five. Now, when it comes to, this is the output of the voltage divider. The input of other circuitry is gonna look at that voltage most likely in relationship to ground. So not always, but uh, for the most part, it's in relationship to ground. And uh, with this voltage divider, there you got just shy of 2.5 volts. We can round it to 2.5 volts. Electronics isn't exact, but the same over there. So what happened to the other uh, 2.5 volts? It's across this uh, upper one right there. And uh, same same with that side there. The top resistor took half of the voltage and the bottom resistor has the other half across it. So the current, same amount of currents flowing through the two resistors. So if you have circuitry that goes from the output to a ground and it lets current flow through it, then there's going to be more current on the top resistor and a less on the bottom. It's going to pull the uh, voltage down. It just uh, works that way. It's going to throw it off. So you make sure you send that output to circuitry that just looks at the voltage 
such as a multimeter. Make sure you turn the multimeter off. And now we'll come to another example where we're using 10 volts instead of 5 volts. So we're not going to take actual multimeter measurements of this. It comes out the same way like it did uh, up there with the last one we did. We're just using a battery symbol instead of the VCC, the supply voltage uh, symbol where it heads to ground. We got the negative supply there. Sometimes there'll be another symbol here with the ground symbol to let you know that's ground, the zero volt reference point, and you got 10 volts more positive. But in case here you can see we got uh, the circuit. It looks like we got another path here, but this indicates a multimeter measurement or a voltage meter measurement, uh, whichever one. And uh, voltmeters, digital ones especially, have such high resistance that uh, really no current flows through them. All the current still flows through the 1000 ohm resistor. And so that's all the circuit sees is this. Uh, the meter is just basically measuring it. But in any case, again, we got the 10 volts and it's going through two equal value resistors where they come together right there. So across the lower value resistor in relationship to ground, zero volts there, you're gonna have in this case, five volts across it. Well, there's also five volts across that one. But when it comes to an output, as far as other con circuitry is concerned or the meter, usually it's to ground as we mentioned before. Same thing if we have 10,000 ohm resistors. So if the meter doesn't provide a ton of resistance, it's gonna lower the voltage for this one because there's less current flowing through this. So whatever current the meter takes, it uh, just lowers the current that is building up across the resistor. It looks like there's less uh, resistance. But in uh, any case, again, our my meter has millions of ohms of resistance. The uh, 10 kilo ohms is, is practically nothing. Almost all the current is flowing. We would have got uh, five volts again. But again, you can take those measurements. That's good practice. Uh, but uh, for this video, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.